Good morning everyone, we are group 4. Today we would like to present our morning group. Our group 4 consists of 4 members. I am Putri and then my group mate Zach, Yanis and also Grace. So in the group 4 user form file, you will find a comment button on the left corner, which when you click it, it will trigger our user form. We have multi page in here, however, when you click it, you will just view the first page, which is intro page, that consists of Bruce, Quid and also list box. In the Bruce button, we only allow our user to have folder to be choose. That's why when you click it, you will only so a lot of folder in here and in here we will let you to download the group for source data it consists all of our source data such as the data set owner group and also sales agent workbook and in here the frame control in the intro page also will only be show up whenever after you click the browse and choose the folder only moreover we disable our user to click the exit button in here that way user only allowed to click quit button on the bottom of the file Next, we would like to move into the employee page. So in here, we can click the employee comment button in the intro page, which leads us into the employee page of the user form. So on the top of it, we could see the combo box, and then we can click on it and then select one of our existing employees. As example, I choose Mayung in here, and then I can click modify or add button, which when I click it, it will uh, show us our the frame control of the employee page. In here, it consists all of the information related to Mayung, which is the employee that we already just before. In here, the calculate button is disabled for us. However, if we change any information, as example, I choose her district and then I change her net salary into the new number so automatically the calculate button will be enabled for the user and then the total salary will also change that already considered the information of related employee after that i need to click the update sheet to make sure that the uh, the information that i put into my young is already changed when i click it the vba message book will be pop up that shows that info employee information has been updated other than that we also can input new employee information in here i type in new employee which is new information in here, and then I click modify or add button. Automatically, the firm control inside it will be empty, which I can input new information. In here, as example, I put new number of the net salary and then click the calculate button, which will show us the new total salary of the new employee that we input. After that, I also will click the update sheet to make sure that the new information will be updated in our database. After the message box is already pop up, I can click the OK and then click back, quit the user form, and then I can move into the owner workbook, which consists of our employee information. When I click it at the bottom, the new information of new employee will be updated automatically in the company database. Next, we would like to move into the property page. So in the frame control, we can choose the property command button, which leads us into the property page of user form. In here, the list box of all of the district in Hong Kong will be appear. As example, in here, I would like to choose the colon city. And after I choose colon city, so the property code in here is all of the property code that is listed only in colon city only. So when I click one of the property code and then I click the modify or add button, it will trigger the frame control, which is it consists all of the information related into the property of the colon city itself. In here, I can change some of the information. As example, I change building age, area, or amount of a bedroom. And then I need to click the update button at the bottom to make sure that new information that I just added already added into the company database. After it pops up, I can click the OK. After that, other than modify the existing information, I also can add the new property in here. As example, I click one child and then I put the So when I click modify or add button, the empty frame control will appear. In here, I should input the new information related into the new property. And then I also need to input the area, amount of bedroom, and also the building of each. After that, I need to make sure that I need to click the update button to make sure that property information has been updated into the company database. I click OK, and then I can see in the company database, which in here, we can view it in the sales agent workbook. So when I click the sales agent workbook, and then I need to go to the property info worksheet. At the bottom of the worksheet, I can see the new property that I just inputted before. Hi, my name is Zach, so I'm going to be taking over for Quadri's uh, presentation for the customer and reports section. So just like employee and property, in the intro page, as you can see, we have a customer button. So as we click on that button, we will land to the customer page of our multi-page user form. So we have ourselves a customer ID from 1 to 300. So let's just pick somewhere in the middle, like around 80, to show the customer. So as you can see here, we have the details popped up as we click on the modify or add. As we can see, this is an existing customer. So we have Lori Sie and with the gender of female. So she's born in 1971, uh, the month 5, which is May, day 30. And with the occupation, phone number, and income also shown below. And also for the date of birth, our list box already followed the calendar system, which means that we already covered the cases for leap years and also the cases where months can have 30 or 31 days. For example, we can choose 2020, which is a leap year. And for February, we have a total of 29 days. If we check to 2021, February, we only have 28 days because 2021 is not a leap year. If we change the month into March, then we have a maximum of 31 days. And if we change it to April instead, we have a maximum only at 30 days, which already follows the standard calendar system. As we click on update, then customer information has been updated would pop up just exactly the same with our property and also our employee. If we, we can also create new customer, for example, with a new ID like 301. So 301 is a new entry. You don't have anything or any information available. For example, new first name, new and last name, last name customer, sorry. 
and we can click the gender, we can choose any gender. And for date of birth, here we have a default, which is a January 2000, but we haven't set the date yet. So we can click on 28, for example, and just randomly write the occupation, phone number, and also uh, income. As you click update, then the customer information has been updated message box will pop up and we can check back in our sales agent workbook. So as we click on our sales agent workbook, it might take a while. And as we can see in the customer info in the last row, we have our new customer available here following the format of the previous one. So after the customer page, we see here that down below that we have the view or add rent status. So let's say we have a customer ID of 202. So we want to see the rent status or add an ex a new rent status. As we click on the button, you can see that our customer ID 202 has not been assigned to any property available. So let's say they want a, a property in Shamsri Po or Kwai Seng, for example. Then as you can see here, the property that are listed in the list box are only properties in Kwai Seng. If you change it to typo, then the property will be different. Let's say we click on this property. It will show us the price in HKD down in the label below. As we change property, the label will change dynamically too. We can also assign them to an agent. Let's say we assign them to S089 and put the rent duration. As we update, click on update, it will show you the message box like, like usual. If we click on the back button, then it will go back to the customer page. And what if you want to view the rent status that you just made, then you just click the same button. It will lead you to this. So this is the previous history for 202. So not only that, you can also change the agent ID. Let's say you change it to S099. You click on update and go to the sales agent workbook. Under the rent status worksheet, you can see in typo 202 and with the new agent S099. Not only that, you can also see in the owner workbook, we have two new employees, S089 and S099. So S089 previously holds zero, both of them hold zero, a property that, that, that they are currently handling. But because we move from S089 to S099, that means that the number of current property currently handling for 89 is minus one. You minus it from the previous one, and S099, you add them into plus one, which you can see here. So right now, S089 is not handling any property, Meanwhile, S099 is handling one property, which is our customer, um, which is our customer 202. We have the report section of our program. So in the intro page, you can see that you can find the report button. As you click on it, we will open all of our workbooks, but it will remain hidden. So we also offer a lot of different summary statistics, frequency table, and a custom scatter plot. For summary statistics, we have the option of agent's total salary, which comes with histogram and without histogram, customer income, property price per district, which comes with, with mean bar chart or without the bar chart. So because the property price per district is based on the district, so we can choose which district to be included and which to not be included. So let's say we want to include Southern, Central, and Western, and Yelsey Mall. So for property rented per district, it's the same thing. And also the last one is the customer per customer age range, which, which comes with pie chart. And for the scatter plot, if we check on the custom, it will open the, the rest of the workbook. And we also have the ref edit function that will take the data for x axis and y axis. So let's try taking the x axis and go to the derived data set. For the customer derived, let's take the customer income. So we drag throughout the column of the customer income let, and don't include the header. And also the same thing with the y axis. So y axis, we go to customer derived. Let's say we want to plot it against the property price that they rented. Okay, so we have this. So let's generate. So when you generate, you create a new workbook and they will ask you to insert a name for the file of XLSX. Let's say we call it test report. And if we say, okay, oh, you haven't chosen the customer his income histogram. See, it's because we have the customer in income checked, but we haven't clicked the option button between with histogram or without. Let's say with histogram. So we click to generate, let's enter again test report. It will generate the report. Okay, it will give us a second. So as we have this right now, customer scatter plot, we have the customer per customer age range with the frequency table on the left and also the graph in the center. We have property per rented per district. This is a frequency bar chart between our the selected um, district only. And this is the grand total of our selected district. And also we have the property price per district. So this is the summary statistics. We have average, standard deviation, maximum, and the minimum. And this is the um, bar chart of the average. For customer income, we have the summary statistics. We also have the frequency table of the bin values. And we also have the histogram on the right. And also the same for agents total salary and this is our this test report.xlsx is already saved as in your um, computer and also uh, if we go back to our user form if we change something if for example we want a customer per customer age range we don't want it anymore and we click on generate it will ask you for a new report because we will create a new workbook let's say we write the same name then it will give you that the name already exists please choose another one so let's say we will choose test report 2 which hasn't exist so it will generate a new um report with our new selection so you can see here we don't have the customer age range anymore so yeah and also when you click on the back it will save everything and it will close everything
And yeah, that's the end of our user for, for program. I hope you enjoy it.